welcome to Crystal's Crochet Cubby Hole. I've got a finished project and then I've got a new uh, whip that I want to share with you. So first off, I will sh share my finished product, which is the Crochet Lacy Wrap by Bag of Day, and she calls it the, la the Ravishingly Radiant Wrap uh, by Bag of Day. And I used Willow's Yarns Dahlia in the color Grassland. And this is 100% Merino wool. It's a one weight, so it's very thin. And I used a five millimeter hook. Um, so I got my notes. I used posty cards and got my notes on it. <laughs> it was a six row repeat. But let me show you. And I posted a picture on my YouTube, my Facebook page and my uh, Instagram. And I will post one in my community tab. But look at that, guys. It is beautiful. I love it. I'm just so pleased with this. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Let me get it around here. <laughs> that, I mean, it's just gorgeous. Look at that pattern. Looks like flowers or something in it. Isn't it? So, uh, and it, it feels really soft and, you know, I just love it. Drapey. So there is that. And then, well, here, let me take this off. So there's that. See how drapey it is? And I'll show you one more time because I just love it. It's beautiful. I love the color change. I, I didn't color control. I just let it do its thing. And I just added one cake after another. Now, each of these cakes, that's one thing I didn't share with you. Let's see. It's the color grasslands, like I said. Um, 147 yards. And so... 1.75 ounces so I love it and I've got several of these little cakes left so um, I don't know if I'm gonna make something else or maybe use them in a giveaway at some point so we'll see and that reminds me I do have a giveaway going on right now it will end the last day of the you have the last day of August to enter and I will be drawing a winner on September 1st um, then, let's see, where's my paper? Oh, hold on. So I use post-it, I mean not post-it notes, I use uh, index cards when I'm working on something because it just fits right down in my project bag or whatever and I'll put the title of whatever I'm working on and who I'm watching the video, who's doing the tutorial. I do my repeat rows so I can keep track, um, little notes, like what row I need to end on and what hook I'm using. So um, this, I'm, I'm doing Bag of Days Poetic Twist Poncho. And um, I'm using the yarn. Oh, here. Bernat Pop by Yarnspiration. And this um, is five ounces. It's 100% acrylic. So five ounces is 280 yards a cake. I think she said she used around a thousand yards to do hers and these so I have five of these so that should be plenty to do one as big as she did if not go a little bit longer so I don't know I'll just have to keep crocheting and see how long I want it uh, this is a medium four and it is a pretty good size four so it's And this one is called the color um, lipstick on your collar. Isn't that beautiful? So there's that. Now let me show you what I've got done so far. Maybe I'll just put this little thing on. <laughs> Give me some yarn here. That way you can see it. So this is how much I've got done so far on the poncho. So, um, this is the first poncho I've ever made. It is also the first 
cable first time making a cable but um, crystal at bag o day made it so easy to follow I'm I mean I'm just really enjoying doing this um, and I suggest you if you you know you can do it see the cables they're I'm just so tickled to death that I you know I've learned to do a new something I haven't done before so I'm excited about that so I learned how this is my first time doing cables and you know there's the twist in there um, and you're adding new cables as you once you get it's a three row repeat and so when you go to the the last row of your repeat you add another twisted cable on your on here so but this is what I've got so far me not get too tangled up with my yarn so I love it love it love it super excited about it um, she's just made it so fun and so easy she's really easy to follow on her tutorials like that's a three row repeat this that I did of hers was a six row repeat like I said but she makes it so simple and easy to follow and you can it, she even puts time stamps on a lot of her stuff if not all of it I'm I don't remember now um, so that you can go back to the correct point and it's not you know I write down my what row I'm on of the repeat so that I make sure I'm doing the right thing <laughs> but that's what I've got going on um, I went to my ear nose and throat doctor today uh, everything with my thyroid looks good and we'll keep taking my thyroid medicine of course but there's no need of any concerns as far as um, surgery or anything like that it's, there's nothing that I need to do like that my hearing test they did a hearing test it came out fine um, my hearing is good although it was in a little closed-in soundproof room so I mean I could hear everything in there <laughs> um, so they said you have to take that in consideration but there's nothing they see that's of concern right now so we'll just you know as needed I'll go see them um, I'll have a review coming out uh, this weekend on a, another product by Saker, so keep your eyes out for that. Um, let's see, I think that's about it. Um, I am planning uh, probably in November, maybe, I don't know if somebody has enough, thinks it should be sooner, let me know, but I want to do a, a Christmas card exchange like I did last year. And I would love to try again to get a card from every state. Um, and if you don't do Christmas cards, just send me a postcard from your state. I'd like to have a postcard from every state in the United States. I think that'd be so neat. Well, from everywhere, anyway. Really. <laughs> I just love getting mail. But I'm going to do the Christmas card exchange where I'd, if I'll let, you know, have my address that you can get. So if you want to send me a Christmas card, and I would love it. And um, if you would like a Christmas card from me then you can email me your address and stuff at that time. And then I will make sure I send you a Christmas card out. So super excited about doing the Christmas card exchange again this year. Um, today is our hottest day so far to this week and stuff. It's like way up in the 90s. Um, I think that's about it right now. Um, just a quick little video. Not very long. Uh, but I want to show you what I'm working on. And uh, super excited about the poncho. So, and super excited to how my wrap turned out. So, I love my wrap. Super excited about my poncho. So, love you guys. Uh, please uh, continue. Thumbs up. I appreciate it. Uh, comment. I love reading your comments. Um, uh, share me out and if you're watching me for the first time and you're not subscribed please consider subscribing to me um, we will be planning a taste test me and my daughters again before too long so that will be coming out not sure what all we're going to be tasting testing whatever you know that can be kind of crazy <laughs> but love you guys and appreciate you and we will talk to you later in crystal crochet cubby hole okay bye for now